the leading candidate right now for the Heisman is? Uh, it's got to be Baker Mayfield. For for all, most of the year, it looked like Saquon Barkley because he was doing some things you just don't see happen uh, from a running back. He was returning kickoffs. He was jumping over people. He was shaking people in the open field. And just having those moments for the first probably seven or eight weeks, and lost to Ohio State, and then they lost to Michigan State. And while he's gone through two straight losses, Baker Mayfield, his stock just keeps going up higher and higher and higher. And You know you what know, was strange, though, going, Herbie, I'm, is I was looking. I, I said to the Danettes, this is before they played USC, I said, I have my one of my favorite Heisman candidates. And I said, he's not even in the top 50 odds-wise to win the Heisman. And I said, Khalil Tate and what he's done and uh, at Arizona. And then all of a sudden, the mothership comes out with their recent Heisman rankings, and he's fourth on the list. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, did, were you, when, when did you get on him? Because he, he went from not playing, and then he went on a four-week stretch. You must have caught him early on Mid, one, of his, one of his first games. Mid-October is when I saw him, and then I went, this guy's fascinating. I don't know how good they are, but I know that he's fascinating to do this, and he didn't start the season. And then all of a sudden, I said, you know, give me the Heisman list to McLovin. He's not on the list. I said, how can this guy, I think he was leading the nation in rushing. How can he not be at least in the top 50 with that? And now all of a sudden, he's in the top five. So, And he had a good showing yeah. against USC. So it's a nice well, story. It, it's a, it really is a good story. It's a good eye by you because – their first, I want to say, four games, he, he wasn't playing. Their starter, Brandon Dawkins, went down. He steps in against Colorado and goes ballistic. You know, in every game since then, UCLA, Cal, Washington State, I mean, he's running for over 200 yards. And it reminded me a lot of Pat White when he was in, with Rich Rod in, in West Virginia, the, mm. the way he was running their offense. So the loss to USC, he still put good numbers up. But you know how it is. It, when you lose a game, it, it tends to affect the, the hype and – for whatever reason, it's always the Heisman Trophy, even though it's, it should go to the best individual player. I think it's always about the, maybe the most valuable player on one of the best teams. That's what it's really become. Uh, but, yeah, without a doubt, that, that kid exploded onto the scene in, in October. But right now it's, it's Baker Mayfield. Uh, and the kid at Notre Dame, Josh Adams, Josh Adams talk about yeah. a big stage this weekend. If he goes crazy against Miami on that stage, his name will really start to go come up. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.